Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Video with the husband. Video with the husband. We're about to shoot some pool. I'm about to whoop that. Y'all already know. We're also gonna be doing some relationship chat. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy watching me beat up on this. Yeah. Beat All up right. on, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to whoop that butt. No hard feelings. Oh yeah, you right now. Oh, you must be talking to yourself. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh yeah, I give lessons on Sunday after church and Mondays when. Put them out of the way so they can <laughs> watch me break. You tripping? Horrible break. Oh my gosh! And, and I hour. still and something still fell. That was a horrible break though. I think this is good. We have one, two, three, four, five questions. Because as you answer and I answer, it's so we don't want this video to take forever. Like y'all don't want to be here all day, right? No. Okay. To date, what has been the happiest time of our marriage? Oh, that's a good question. Happiest time I of our like marriage. I feel like we should have thought about these before we came on. Yes, um, probably should have uh, ran across these questions before <laughs> getting on camera, but. Um, We'll do the and best we're we can. just gonna jump out there and yeah. just boom. Stop happiest. trying to add lives. He trying to <laughs> waste time while he think about the happiest time of our marriage. Come on, David Johnson. You wanna answer first? Oh my god! <laughs> he can't think of it. Okay, so we have lots of happy yes, times. I, first of all, that's why this is so difficult. We have so happy many happy times. times. Okay, um, so for me, mm -hmm. I clearly have one. Yes. And it is an event where we had everybody pretty much that was important in our lives together at the same time celebrating us. Our vow renewal. And that's our vow renewal. Amen. I would, I would say our wedding, but our kids weren't there yet, you know. And so I feel like our vow renewal was just, I felt so much joy at that time, at that event. We were there, we were celebrating 10 years. Mm -hmm. We had both of our babies there, your parents there, your you know, your family is there, my family was there. It was just a joyful day. It was everything. We were in our forever home. Yes. Like that God blessed us with. That's definitely it for me. I'ma go recent. Okay. And say when we went, just got back from New Orleans. Because We've been through a lot of things in our life. Mm -hmm. And we're like literally we've been at heights of financial success and then we've been at the valley mm -hmm. when it comes to financials financials, period. Not having anything. And to be able to leave your kids with your parents in your forever home and go and enjoy life with your wife and not have a worry, a financial worry, a kid worry, you know, your household worry, not have no worry, just enjoy that time and moment. And my That's wife was looking like a boss every day. If like, y'all missed our New Orleans yeah. recap, check the description yes. box. I'll put it there for you. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I was showing her mm -hmm. off and- That was really a you great know, That right there, it was. It you was. know, that, I, to be able to do stuff like that, yeah. And we have a lot more of those days coming. It is amazing. Yeah, I agree. Amen. Good answer up top. All Boom. Right. Ooh, I need to call these shots, man. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go across side. Oh, oh. nice shot on you. Oh, cross side. Nice shot. On you. All right. nice shot. What do you think makes relationships harder than they need to be? Lack of communication and understanding. Yes, Lord. Communication yes. is everything. Yeah, but see, the thing is, communication is nothing. If, if you, you don't can't understand. open your mind up to receive whatever's being said. I, so right. you, and the person that you're speaking to receive what you're saying as right. well. You but need to I agree. I agree with that. But I don't think receiving is understanding. Because sometimes... You're, you're right. not going to understand. But you but received you it. You can receive you it. You understood yes. it. I mean, you respect meaning, it. 
even if you don't agree with it, you agree to disagree, but I heard you. Yeah. You know, and I'll take, I'm going to take that into account. Yeah. But at the same time, let me let you know how I feel about it too. Right. Because it's different. I, I'm down with the communication. I think that's huge. But not having a mutual faith. So not necessarily the same level of faith because we all grow on different levels spiritually, you know, depending on, you know, where you are with Christ, where you are in your walk. So you're at some place, I'm at some place, but we still have a mutual faith. We have the same belief, right? Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the King of Kings. And we share that faith yeah. strongly. And that. Not having the same faith, I think, really is just a struggle. Because when hard times come, and hard times will, will come, come, what you leaning on? You leaning on your faith, they leaning on whatever they lean on. That divides you, and you need to come together during those difficult times. During those difficult times, and our faith always brings us closer together, and that is what allows us to grow more and more. Hundred percent. Can I add one more thing? Yeah. To, uh, Another thing that can hurt. It's what? what makes relationships harder than they need to be. Not accepting blame. Oh, yeah. When you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. You need to apologize. Yeah. Accept it. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Look, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. And not with no attitude. No. I'm, I'm, right? Like, I'm legit genuine. be genuine and sincere you know, about it. Because the thing is, you can't get over something. If it has not been overcome, and right. you can't overcome it when you're holding on to it, but good word, baby. Okay. Damn. You don't do luck. Oh, are you kidding me? I ain't made a shot yet. You sure haven't. That's okay. Corner. Rack them up. Go ahead now. thing about raising kids uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna answer this question first this time the hardest thing about raising kids to me is my desire for my kids to be well-rounded and mm. live a full life like explain I want so much for our kids mm. you know in every aspect of life I want a lot for them um, but a lot of that depends on the qualities and the characteristics that they hold within themselves. So, so being kid. bold and being humble and being confident and, you know, having all of that stuff and having balance. Listen, and there's no perfect. There's, it's gonna, it's gonna there's be a no lot perfection. Of there's no perfection. I know there's no perfection. But, you know, just doing our best to help them to be their best. Amen. That's hard for me because I, you know, I look at myself a lot. Just like I hope you look at yourself because we are their example. So anyway, what about you? What's the hardest thing about raising kids? I'll say my, what makes it, uh, what's the hardest part for me when it comes to raising two boys before a girl get hit, you know? So I'm just gonna spoil her like you spoil the boys. But, <laughs> uh, with these two boys, I need to make sure I, I'm not only an example, where they can see how affectionate I am with you, their mom, their their queen right now at this moment in time, you know. But at the same time, showing them that you know I go work, you know I come take care of things, you know you work hard, you rest well. So you know when you work hard, I come home and I want to rest. They understand why I'm resting. Right. Yeah. You know? And you know, and I need them to understand that you can't allow for anything to get you out of your character. You know, one thing I can tell you is Xavier has an amazing temper. Mm -hmm. Like, somebody will be messing with him, and he looks at him like, I will destroy you, but I'm going to love on you regardless. And He's loving. I love that yeah. about it because, and he got that from seeing us and seeing yeah. how we react. And when people get loud, how we react to right. that. Right. And that's, a, that's an amazing thing. So I think that's the hardest thing is continue to be that example and raising them up to be the kings they're supposed to be. Yeah. Amen. 
He has seven balls on the table, y'all. Seven. How many balls you got? How many I got? One, two. Add two. Two to your seven. Come on, let's go. I know you're going to try to run the table on me. My question is, what do you see in the character of Christ that you most wish were in you? I'm going to say, oh, I keep coming back to one, but I feel like there's another one, but I can't call I'm it gonna right I'm going to tell you now. the one for me. What? Is it going? Don't, yours might okay. be the same as mine, though. No. What? It's. I won't, and I can't probably ever get this till I die, but all-knowing. God's all-knowing. So let's say that's really what you was trying to say. Mm -hmm. I think the translation would be in discernment. He which you are a great, he is probably the best discerner that I know on this side of heaven. He gave me a gift. Like, he gift. discerns incredibly well. He gave me a gift. But one character that I, I wish, uh, and I prayed for this um, when I was a teenager, if you believe that, uh, the um, healing hand. Well, Strong I think character. we all have deep within us, you know, depending on our level of spiritual maturity, mm -hmm. have the ability to do that. I mean, it works through Holy Spirit who works through us, the power of God that resides in us. That's why I need us. to work. Well, that, you yeah. just got to get closer. I know. Trust you me. just gotta go deeper. Do you not? Do you not see what I be doing every morning? I do. Thank Lord to God. You gonna get there. You keep at oh, it. No, you know. Okay, so the characteristic that I can most mm -hmm. think of, and I'm not really thinking. I think we're thinking about them differently, but patience is huge. Wow. And I feel like I'm patient right now, but if I could have the patience of Christ, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> Eight ball, that corner pocket. No. I'm about to say you should have said this corner pocket. <laughs> Straight down. Okay. Oh, wait, that's some jump. Oh, ain't that some jump? Great defense. Great defense. Great defense. Great defense. I mean, you would be penalized for that. Whatever. What is the secret to our relationship success? What do you think is the secret to our relationship success? Honestly, I love to say communication uh, has always been a staple with us. Um, and before we even knew each other's faith how deep our faith was. We knew we were believers in Christ. We didn't know how deep each other's were. But I would have to say, I love to say that, but I have to say Jesus Christ. Right. Because we like had legit. times when we just, we can't get through it. And mm -hmm. we give it to God and he gets us through it. Yes. He's like, you're good. You know, that's nothing compared to this, this, and this. I'm like, oh, yeah. you're right. I have never been able to agree to disagree without God because it stays with you even though you because you're disagreeing I am in 100% agreement a three strand cord is not easily broken it's not and when Jesus Christ is that third strand you listen Pull me tight. Listen, I'm telling you, it is, it really is, I think, the secret to our relationship success. It will continue to be. I think mm -hmm. there's nothing that we can't get through with him in the center of our marriage. Nothing. We ride together. 
we got to get them. Bad boys for life. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, thumbs up, please. More videos with Hubby, thumbs up. Comments down below. If you have any other questions we did not cover, we will be happy to answer them down there. Thank you guys so much. Until next time.